Welcome to True Projects. In this video, we are going to explain about the project, which is hand gesture cursor movement using OpenCV. Introduction. Traditional computer input devices such as mouse and touchpads have limitations in terms of the number of available interaction modalities. Users are primarily restricted to moving a cursor and clicking. This can be limited, especially for tasks like requiring multi-dimensional input or precession. The project addresses the need for more intuitive and efficient methods of interacting with the computers, particularly for scenarios where physical input devices are impractical or not accessible. The primary purpose of this project is to offer an alternative and more natural way of controlling a computer's cursor, making it easier for users to navigate and interact with software applications. The project proposes a two-module system, gesture recognition and cursor control. This approach ensures that accurate identification of hand gesture while eliminating false positive. Hand gesture based on control can be particularly beneficial for applications requiring precise and intuitive control, such as design software or presentations. Objective The main objective of this project is to establish a reliable and precise gesture recognition system with the capability to interpret hand movements as effective computer input commands. Our approach centers on utilizing OpenCV, MediaPipe, and PyAuto GUI as the core tools for conducting image processing and computer vision tasks. This selection ensures the development environment stability and robust support. Our goal is to optimize the computational speed of gesture recognition and cursor control. This optimization aims to guarantee real-time responsiveness leading to an enhanced and more instinctive human-computer interaction experience. For implementing this project, we need hardware and software requirements. In hardware requirements, operating system of Windows, processor of i5 and above, RAM of 8 GB and above, and hard disk of 25 GB and above. In software requirements, we need Python of 3.7.0 version. In the flow of work, we have designed few modules to implement the project. The first one is importing the packages. This module involves importing necessary libraries for hand gesture, cursor movement and they are CV2 which is OpenCV. It is used for image processing, computer vision and webcam access. In this project, it helps to capture video frames from the webcam and perform various image processing tasks. Media Pipe. It is utilized for hand tracking and gesture recognition. It provides pre-trained machine learning models for accurate hand pose estimation, which is essential for interpreting hand movements in his input commands. PyAuto GUI PyAuto GUI is used for programmatically controlling computer's cursor and keyboard. It allows us to move the cursor based on recognized hand gesture, aligning with the project's goal of the cursor control through hand movements. These packages play a crucial role in different aspects of the project, collectively enabling the development of a gesture-based cursor control system. Opening the webcam This step involves initializing and opening the webcam connected to the computer. It allows the project to capture real-time video frames for hand gesture recognition. Detecting the hand gesture This step involves using the imported MediaPipe library to process the video frames from the webcam and detect the user's hand gesture. Move the hand according to the concern. This step involves analyzing the detected hand gesture and mapping them to a specific computer input commands. The PyAuto library is used to move the cursor on the selected screen based on the recognized gesture, fulfilling the project's objective of cursor control through hand movements. For execution of the project, first we need to open the code folder. This is the code folder of the project and this is the python main code file and this is the run.bat file. Instead of executing the project in command line interface, we have created run.bat file. Now we will double click on it for execution. So here we can see that the hand is being detected by the webcam. If we place hand within the video frame, it will act as the cursor. If we remove it from the video frame, it will not act as the cursor. Now we will perform some tasks using the hand cursor, where the hand cursor is the replacement of the traditional mouse. By giving some hand gestures, we will perform the task. So this will act as a neutral and this is for moving the mouse and this is for left click and this is for right click and this is for double clicking and this is for increasing the brightness and decreasing and this is for moving. 
now we will select the particular file so i'll move my cursor towards videos file and there by bending my left finger it will be left clicked so here we can see that by giving the left click the videos folder is open now we will give the right click so the right click is being performed now we will give the left click so i'll move my hand towards the documents folder so here i'll close my two fingers so that it will be double clicked see it is double clicked now we will select multiple files for that we need to come to the neutral position and then take my hand towards any particular file so here we can see that the multiple files are being selected now i'll open my hand so that the files will be selected here we can see that the multiple files are selected now we will drag and drop any file for that i need to get hand to the neutral position and now i'll move my hand towards the ppt of last file there i will close my two fingers at a time and move towards the downloads folder here i will open my hand so that it will be placed in it see here we can see that drag and drop has happened now we will increase the brightness of the system using the hand gesture so first we need to click on the brightness and there we need to place the hand in this way now we will move our hand towards the left side so that the brightness will be decreased we can observe that the brightness is being decreased if i move my hand towards the right side it will be increased here we can see that slightly the brightness is being increased in this way we can also increase the volume and the brightness in this way the hand acts as the cursor in replacement of the traditional mouse so now we'll close this command prompt conclusion of the project the project has successfully represented a significant step towards redefining how users interact with the computers by harnessing the power of gesture recognition and computer vision we have created a novel and intuitive method for users to control their computers making the interaction experience more natural and accessible our commitment to enhancing computational speed has resulted in a system that operates with impressive efficiency users can expect real time responsiveness when using hand gestures to control the cursor improving the productivity and user satisfaction Leveraging tools like OpenCV, MediaPipe and Pyauto GUI, it has provided a stable and well-supported development environment. This ensures that our solution remains reliable and adaptable for future enhancements or replications. Beyond efficiency and innovation, this project addresses the accessibility needs, making it an inclusive solution for users with physical disabilities. It reduces reliance on traditional input devices, promoting a more inclusive computing environment for all the users. Thank you for watching video. For more projects, please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.